a different take on Fidelio, Ludwig van Beethoven's only opera. In this Salzburg Marionette Theater production, not only the puppets are on stage, but also the puppet masters, including artistic director Philipp Brunner. It's not normal for us to be out in the open, so it takes some getting used to, because you feel watched all of a sudden. But when you start concentrating on the puppets, you forget the audience. Blendet man dann auch die Zuschauer aus. Ist was vorgefallen? Nein, Herr. Thomas Reichert is directing the production, which was commissioned by Bonn's Beethoven Festival, with long arias and duets, a hundred voice choir, and a plot that is largely psychological. It's a challenging work. The tradition of the Salzburg Theater is that the director decides what the puppets should look like. This is the first time that they have had no eyes, nose, or mouth. Puppets can convey a psychological state through behavior, movements, or gestures, but not with mimicry. We can't move their faces. I didn't want to fix the expression with Don Pizarro always being angry or Marcelina always looking naive. These expressions aren't fixed. Audience members can project their own ideas. The theater is based in downtown Salzburg with some 160 performances a year. The auditorium can seat 330. The production of Mozart's Magic Flute is a much-loved favorite. Barbara Heuberger started working here 20 years ago and became the director in 2012. The theater was included in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2016. Luckily, we have long-serving puppeteers who can pass on the knowledge and techniques they have acquired over the years to younger people. These need to learn the basics, but it's very important. And I think that's the point of being on the UNESCO cultural heritage list, so that skills are passed down. Sculptor Anton Aisha founded the Puppet Theatre in 2013. The first production was Bastion und Bastienne, a one-act work by Mozart. Aisha's son Hermann later took over and the theatre stayed in the family for almost 100 years until the founder's granddaughter Gretel Aisha died in 2012. The theatre remains as popular as ever, and people come from all over the world to learn how to operate the marionettes. Our control bar consists of a T and a triangle. Under the T is a triangle for the head, and then there are wires. You can use the thumb to create steps, and in this case, the left hand on the hand rod can move the arms. The puppeteers not only operate the small performers, but actually make and repair them, as well as the costumes, in the theater's workshop. The Fidelio rehearsal is actually taking place in a different theater, because when the troupe goes on tour, they take about five tons of equipment with them, so they need a bigger space to practice in. I love this kind of stage because it expands the space. The puppet stage that we usually have of 4 meters to 10 meters. So we have to move the puppets in a much bigger space. It's extreme. The Salzburg Marionette Theater, an Austrian institution with fans the world over.